Seattle area native Devonte Downs here for you. Well, let's start with that. Does it mean something special to you going going up there and, and playing a game? Uh, it's cool to see my family and friends, but it's just another week getting prepared starting today. So yeah. Will you have family and friends? Yeah, I got a lot of people coming. How many would you? Have? Probably like 20, 20 plus. Nice. Yeah. Be cool. You had a bunch of last game too, cause mom lives. Mom lives near. Yeah, had uh, my mom, my dad, and some people that they know as well. So it's cool. Are you responsible for finding all those tickets, or how's that work out? Uh, yeah, if people got extra tickets on our team, they hand them out. So you just got to ask around. Yeah. Be the first one to ask and get them. Yeah. Yeah. Coach was talking about um, really a consistency level, saying you know that it's not one thing that you guys need to fix. It's kind of a consistency yeah. on every play. What What do you see when you when you broke down tape? From yeah, just watching the film. It's just. Focusing on the little things like the keys, looking at what you're supposed to look at, being where you're supposed to be. It's little things that really you miss one thing and it could be six points. So just the little things add up. That's what we're focusing on. How do you feel like the team came out and, and responded today at practice? Oh, we had a good sharp practice today. Looking at the little scrimmage we had afterwards was really cool too. We had people making plays and working on the corrections we needed to fix. Uh, it was really helpless. How many plays did you guys scrimmage there at the end? Uh, I think it was like 16, something like that. Okay, yeah. just a quick it was a quick one. Yeah. What uh, what kind of difference has Tori made in the uh, in the in the, the culture of the program since he came in? Uh, Coach Beckton, he's kind of like a no excuses type of guy. I think he's tried to instill that in a lot of people, and I think he gets us prepared physically. Just the way we practice throughout the week and our legs back up under us before Saturday, it's really good. When did you first realize, well, this guy's made business? Probably like one of his first days. Yeah, <laughs> one of his first days. Just what he had us doing. Uh, he just doesn't like excuses, so yeah. Well, what, do you, what do we have you guys uh, Some bear crawls uh, for not focusing on the little details, like not touching the line, stuff like that. Just wants us to do exactly what we're told to do. That's what uh, we're aiming to do. How are you hand in, handling individually the attention that, that you're garnering this year um, with the Pac-12 players of the week and adding to the lot list? And it seems like there's something new every week. Uh, it's nice. To, it's a... Uh, it's a humbling to get that. It's really nice as well. Um, but I just try to stay focused on week to week because getting caught up on things like that, it's just not good. I just try to stay level-headed. Is that harder as, as this attention comes in? Uh, not really because I don't really like take the attention to myself. I like to give it to my D-line, my DBs, because without them, like, I can't do what I do. So, yeah. yeah. When, when Coach, we all, I think, have probably written about switching schemes from a 4-3 to a 3-4. When you knew Coach Wilcox was coming in, did you – Try to look at what he had done. Try to prep for for what he might be installing in, in your defense. Uh, yeah, I knew that he came from Wisconsin, so I try to like look at th Wisconsin's three four, other people's three four, and what he's done so far is really good for us. Did you project that you'd move inside, or what were you thinking when you looked at the Wisconsin? Uh, I wasn't stuff? sure, and we had our first meetings, and he just let me know that I was going to play inside, and I was all ready for it. Started looking at film, listening to what they wanted us to do, and went from there. Is it as much fun for you as it looks like it is? Oh, yeah, it's for sure outside. a lot of fun. Uh, just being like a little quarterback out there, telling, uh, calling plays, uh, aligning people, it's really fun out there. What are your early impressions of Washington? Uh, they're obviously a highly ranked team for a reason. They're really good. Their running backs are patient. They got a good quarterback out there, and they got a good receiver, number eight, making plays. So, yeah. Did you, uh, on the. Um there's a punt return where I think two of their guys collided to force yeah. the fumble, and it looked like you got up slow. Did you? Nah, I, I missed the fumble. And that I was, what I was you pissed. Okay. I was like, okay. dang. <laughs> Some dude tried to crack back me. I, like, I dodged out the way. He hit his own guy. The ball was right there. I wasn't expecting it. I missed it. So, yeah. Yeah, I've never seen you stay down that long. Yeah, I was like, it, ah. Was I was like, ah. Yeah. I'm good. All right. You guys good? Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.